Dale Farmer Dre back at it. It's a beautiful, beautiful December day here in Missouri. It's absolutely amazing. It's supposed to be 72 degrees today. I'm working in a t-shirt and vest. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. But today I'm out here cleaning up the fence and the garden area so we can get it ready for next year. If you guys watched my uh, play barn video, I kind of explained in there what we want to do here. But this side of the pasture that we have now for our cows, we're going to go ahead and block it off and fence, electric fence in a different section. But over here on top of this here next to the high tunnels, we are going to go ahead and build our play area. So we're, we, for the past couple of weeks, we've been coming up with many ideas to uh, what kind of you know games we can build for the kids and just for the families to have fun and play with. So, you know, I already started working on a, a basketball game. We're going to do like the, um, I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys and build them as we go along. I'm going to show you what I worked on yesterday and building that. But today I got to move this fence out of the way here. I, I pulled all the wires out yesterday. I got to come through, clean a T post. And I'm going to try today to clean up this, uh, the plastic mulch here that was for our vegetables. And over here next year, I'm going to be planting zinnias. Zinnias are a fairly long-term crop. They're kind of like indeterminate tomatoes. They keep on blooming and blooming all summer long until they freeze. So I'm, the plan is to plant them fairly early in the spring, probably the, the last week of April, beginning of May, if it doesn't get cold. And they'll continue to grow and flower, hopefully throughout the entire summer for keeping them healthy. So we're gonna have a uh, fairly good amount of zinnias here. I don't know, it's probably like a quarter acre top of the here here uh, top of the hill here where we have where we're, all these vegetables are going to be but the play area is going to be coming along up until these high tunnels so the play area is actually going to start uh, right here we're going to go ahead and fence in between the high tunnels here and the zinnias will be on top of this hero this hill here man i'm having problems speaking this morning and then we're going to go ahead and run of these zinnias all the way down to the hill and the play area is going to be this whole area up until eventually we're gonna get down to the street there, but for now, it, we're gonna fence it off with, with pallets and whatnot. So yeah, that's the plan, that's the idea, but we still got a lot of cleanup work to do. We still got a lot of building, and these are all just ideas now. But, you know, it, before, talk is cheap until you don't start doing it. So that's the plan. Uh, today I'm gonna to start take, tearing this stuff out, hopefully clean up this plastic mulch. I need another person to drive tractor. I might pull Adrian out of his office today and uh, help me out a little bit. But yeah, that's the plan and the goal. So let's go ahead and get started. So the plan is to build it very farm oriented. So at first we were gonna take out this gate, but we're gonna go ahead and leave it. This is gonna be the entrance to the play area here. And we're gonna build a nice, uh, I guess, what do you call those, uh, a banner or something from this post to that post. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, you know say welcome to Gardner's play area or something. And over here in this area, we're gonna have a public, public sitting area. We are gonna go ahead and gravel this entire thing. But we gotta get like, we had to buy like 15 or 20 more picnic tables and just fill them up here, get some swing, just like a public sitting area and then the play area will be right here. So I'm excited of what the future has to hold and I'm excited for next year, but there's so much work to be done. And before, you know, if we don't, if we don't work now, spring's gonna catch up on us and then we're gonna realize we didn't get anything done. First thing is first and the easiest is pulling out these T-posts, I guess. There's a lot of rock in the soil here, so it's decent soil. Hopefully pull these out here. Let me see, there you go. And clean up this fence. Alrighty y'all, so we got done with that fence and I just realized, look at the radar, it's supposed to rain uh, for, uh, tomorrow afternoon. And um, you know, you have all the, we clean up the play barn and all the bales from the play barn are right there, all the square bales on pallets there. So since it's gonna rain, we don't have enough broom in the barn now. So I'm gonna take all those back in the pavilion. They're on the pallets right now. So I'm just gonna have to haul those in there real quick before it, before it gets too late here. And we gotta go to farmer's markets tomorrow. So I don't have time to do that tomorrow. But here's a project I've been working on. I worked on this yesterday. And it's just a big old grain, gravity grain bottom here. I got this for like 500 bucks from North Missouri and uh it's a little rusty we got to paint it but all it is is we're gonna put two basketball hoops in there and of course this doors opens here i'll put a video of, a, of one that's done or a picture of one that's done of how this is gonna be and this is ready to go except the um 
the basketball hoops which are coming in next week Wednesday so this game will be done here and we have like 10 or 12 games that we want to get done by next spring so that we can open up the play area but enough of the play area I'm gonna go ahead and haul that hay back in the barn Smell that? Oh, smells so good. I'll be back in a second. Don't tell anybody. Fresh apple cider donuts. Boom, still hot. Mm. So good. Never tried our apple cider donuts. You guys are missing out. Mm. So good. Mm. And you wonder why I'm not skinny. Mm. Oh, delicious. So the funny thing is, I've uh, I've eaten a lot of donuts since we got that machine, and every single time I eat a donut, I'm like, wow, these are good. Like they're just that good. Oh, oh, so good. got done with the hay and the hay is done now but we already worked too hard today now it's time to have a little bit of fun I'm gonna jump on my bike here and let her rip so this bike is a two-stroke so you gotta let it warm up a little bit a couple seconds before you can start riding it kind of fun it was uh just get the air going it's a warm day 71 today and it's beautiful so i love the winter months don't get me wrong i love the cold and you know the fact that we don't you know we're not in that big of a rush we have nothing actively growing you know we're things are slowing down but the only thing i hate about winter is that it gets dark so quick sun's going down now and it's only like four something it's 401 and the sun's going down. It'll be dark in an hour. We can't get anything done. Isaac just got home from school and I've been working all by myself today with Adrian. But this time of year, we don't get too much done with two people just because if I need to do a tractor job or anything like that, it just takes two people, one person saying the tractor, the other person. So I just, uh, yeah, this time of year is terrible. It gets dark way too early. And I feel like most farmers are that way or just used to, like in the, during the summer months, we work pretty much sun up to sun down and you're putting 12 16 hours a day was uh, work worth of work a day during the winter months you know the day it becomes daylight at 6 637 gets dark at 4 5 and not much work gets done
I say not much work gets done, but during the winter months, that's when we focus on our like our personal brands and whatnot. And you know, Adrian's been busy with the hats. You know, farmer dress supply has been going really good. So we got work to do, but just not farm work. So it's one of those deals where you know, in my mind, I'm an old school farmer, right? If we don't get much done out in the fields, I'm like, man, we did absolutely nothing today. Anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the tractor. I'm gonna connect the mulch lifter, the mulch wrapper, and start lifting that plastic mulch and wrapping that plastic mold. So I got all the plastic that I lifted a while back. I did lift this whenever I made that video why I hate plastic mulch. And that was whenever it was everything was green out here and I'll try lifting it up. Uh, but now I got to disconnect that and connect the mulch lifter, the uh, big yellow thing we have. And lift all this up and then I'll come through with the wrapper and pick it up. But I had to do this first because the wind blew all this other stuff. But my camera is almost dead. I think it has like 3 or 4% left. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and end off the video here. Uh, I'm going to try to lift this tonight, if not tomorrow or next week sometime, and clean this up. Like I mentioned, we're not in no rush of getting everything done, but we kind of are because we have so many plans and so many projects to get done before spring. But we are definitely planting uh, sun, uh, zinnias here next year, which I'm going to be starting the greenhouse and transplanting out here. So uh, yeah, all kinds of good ideas and plans. But this is gonna be it for today. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out farmerdraysupply.com. Link is always in the description box below where you guys can find all your gardening and your farming needs. It's all the stuff that I use here on our farm. I'm gonna say thanks for watching up to this point. Y'all have a good day and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.